Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at um, vector data management tools, right? Good. We are going to see how to split vector layers. Now, um, if you have a vector layer, just like a shape file layer, and you want to split it maybe by a specific um, attribute, right? Good. So that um, that particular attribute will still have the general features as they are on the attribute table. So let's say you come down to this um, particular vector data you see from the attributes table that um, there are different fields and then we have about 37 entities, right? Good. So you decide um, which of the attributes or field that um, you want to use to create the new what the new split layer right good so since we have seen the composite here let's call it the composite attribute table we are going to split it based on this particular field right good we are going to split based on this particular field and um, call them um, name underscore one so we are now going to have about 37 other fields that have each of these or that have all of these um, attributes right good so that's what we are going to do on today's video. So if you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks for always checking up on us. We have data loaded. We come down to vector. We go down to data management tools. Then we come down to split vector layer. Good. Now under the split vector layer window, we have the input layer already loaded because um, that's the vector data we have on our layer panel. Then the unique ID field we want to use for the splitting, as I stated earlier, is what name underscore one, which represents the different states. So if there are maybe number of local governments or maybe the names of the capital or maybe the names of the governors, you know, all of those can be found on that particular line of the state, right? Good. So um, what um, output file type do we need? We need them as um, SH. Then uh, we have the output directory. Okay, before we proceed, we have split input vector layer into multiple layers by specified unique word field ID. Now, each of the layers created in the output folder somewhere around there contains all of the features from the input layer with the same value for the specified attribute, right? Good. So the number of files generated is equal to the number of different values found for the specified attributes. So we have um, 37 values, right? Good. So we are going to have 37 files. That's um, the first thing. Then each of, as it's been stated, each of the layers created contains all the features along what the row, right? Good. So that's what we are trying to achieve. Now the output directory, let's click on this, then save to directory. Created a folder called um, split vector layer. So we are going to just select that folder and then all is set and we click on run good so we are done we can decide to close or change the parameters now it is been loaded somewhere let's come back to the attribute table i guess it's still open right good as it is on the attribute table we are concerned with this name underscore one right good. so under this name underscore one you can have different fields that maybe indicates the governor, maybe the number of local governments, you know, the total number of workforce, you know, whatever information you would have used to populate the field, you will now have for a particular state, you have all of the information you need as it is being stated from the description, right? So I will explain that. Let's now try to bring in, did I select? I wasn't supposed to select. select. Good. I will explain that. Let's try to bring in the splitted, yeah, the splitted layers. So we come down to layers. We go to add layers, add vector layer, split vector layer. Then we can see the different layers that has been splitted, and then their IDs are identified. Let's say their names are identified using the field name and the name of the attribute. So let's select all. That's Control A, open. We can just add and then close. Good. So you can see. Let's try to group all of these. So, 
control shift down right good so let's group this and then let's call this um, split right good let's call that split so we can just keep it like this so we don't have our layer panel cluttered so this is the split data as you can see and then this is the let's say the composite data before we split it so with this now let's click on the drop down we can now select each of the states and then when we open the attribute table we can find the information about what that particular state right group so it helps in organizing your data it helps in analysis it helps in display so you know with this you can decide okay let's come up a bit and close good we can decide to maybe put off as many as we want and then leave as many as we want on right good so if you don't want all of those um, states to be displayed you can maybe start selecting them from what from the split layer right good so it helps in um, organizing maybe analysis and then display so with this you have been able to what, split your vector data into different layers based on that um, specified attribute or field right good so thanks for coming to class you know as it is now you can decide to maybe double click on this and make specific modifications to what to each of good so we can decide to make this um, simple line and then change the color to let's say red let's increase the thickness or the width right here. so let's make this 0.9 then we click on ok so we now have just dust it like that the reason why we still have a few behind is because of this composite good so you can decide to modify each of the states or maybe each of the layers right good each of the layers as you want them to be so thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this particular surveying or gis or remote sensing problem we are going to see you on our next video until then keep staying safe and have a very good time bye